Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review of the Rhino. And we have a beer. Today's beer was actually just picked up today. It's not cold at all because what's on the back of this bottle, well, it's, it's cellar temperature. Anyway, this is from Trafalgar Ales and Meads. This is Trafalgar's Irish style brown ale at 5% alcohol by volume. So there you go. Back here it says. A paradox in a bottle. Trafalgar Irish Ale is rich yet refreshing. Complex yet simple. This dark, easy drinking ale is a lightly hopped blend of four premium malts. A classic style, craft brewed to perfection. Like all traditional ales, this beer is lightly carbonated and best served at cellar temperature. So, a paradox in a bottle. Complex yet simple. Rich yet refreshing. Craft brewed to perfection. Now, I'll be honest with you on this one. Uh, you all know that Trafalgar Ales and Meads, not my favorite brewery out there. They do make some things that I enjoy, but not my favorite brewery out there. However, this is a brown ale, so I'm not expecting all that much out of it. So, if this lets me down, I'm going to be very sad. So, color. Color a nice deep brown color like it, like it talks, well, like it advertises with a brown ale. It looks beautiful. Almost no head, but that's okay. That nice little line there just makes you remember that you have a beer in your glass. Mm. A nice caramel, malty, nutty scent coming off of there. A very subtle hoppiness on the nose as well. Beautiful smelling brown ale. I mean, all in all, out of the glass it comes off a little sweeter than it should be, but out of the bottle it is it is bang on exactly what I'd expect out of a brown ale. Uh, let's try it. Cheers. Very, very lightly carbonated, just like they talk about. Very easy drinking. You could put this down very easily. Taste, inoffensive. Uh, very malty. Uh, some caramel, again, some nuttiness, almost almost like an almond taste. Uh, refreshing, just like they say. Your, your hop bitterness is coming off kind of... Um, It's very uh, Pilsner-esque. It has that, it has that almost noble hop-like uh, flavor. Don't think that's what it is though, because it's not. It's not full-on grassy, but it's. It just reminds me of that. It gives me that type of vibe. Um, not a bad beer, in all honesty. Not a bad beer at all. Whenever I pick up a Trafalgar beer, I do. I do get worried. Um, I've probably enjoyed maybe 30% of the Trafalgar products I've had, and I've disdained most of the others, but the products that I've had that I've actually liked by them have actually been fairly well-made products. And this is actually a fairly well-made brown ale. A uh, little, little weird oily sensation on my tongue, but that's, uh, that's about the only thing I could say bad about it, other than that it's a brown ale. Okay, I think if this was cold, if this was cold, I could probably just throw it back. I did just put too much of it down my throat at once and it made me tear up. Um, yeah, I know how that sounded. Uh, if this was cold, you could probably just throw it back all night. You get a little bit of coffee bitterness on the background as well. 
uh, almost almost like a black roasted coffee on your tongue with the hoppiness. It's a beautiful, beautiful roasty, toasty, caramelly brown ale. But again, it's still just a brown ale. It's nothing special. There's lots of brown ales out there like it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, not as good as the brown ale I had from Niagara College, which was basically spot on for exactly what is expected of a brown ale. But at the same time, much better than, say, Labatt brown ale or um, things like that. Uh, but And the Labatt brown ale is actually a good brown ale as well. I mean, it's properly done. But this is, this is somewhere in the middle between those two. Uh, I would probably put this more on par with uh, black oak, not brown. But I think I enjoy the black oak just a little bit more. It's more, it's, it doesn't have that weird mouth feel. Uh, so out of 10 on this, I, it's a pint bottle. It was under $3. It was something like $2.85, $2.95, somewhere in there. Um, maybe even $2.50. I don't fully remember the exact price. But um, I can't give it a bad mark. I have to say like a 7 out of 10. I would buy this again. This is, And I would drink it cold next time instead of, fully at room temperature, well, cellar temperature, because that would actually show me what, well, would hide the only faults that I'm finding, which is basically that oily sensation. I think that would be washed away pretty well with the, uh, with the cold beer. Thank you, guys. Cheers. It is refreshing. Amazing. Amazing, Michael Arnold. Amazing.